Hi, my name is Drew, N1ER or N1er for you ham types. You know, I'm a lot like you. I have things in life that I love doing, and I've discovered that if you find a way to make those things intersect, life is even more awesome. You may think that hogs and ham radio can't go together. Well, I'm here to change your mind. There are other things that I enjoy doing as well. For instance, I love watching my kids play sports, play in band, and live life. I love working in ministries and with underprivileged groups. And you know what? I love Georgia Tech, the Atlanta Braves, and yes, the X-Files. I'm here to answer all sorts of questions and show you how your passions can intersect. We'll talk hogs and hams, but also drink some bourbon and play some D&D. So join me on this episode of Hogs and Hams. Hi, in Wonder, Drew here again. Today we're actually going to be talking about some more ham radio stuff. And today I actually want to show off a new toy that I got. As many of you know, in my previous videos I've discussed, I have an Elecraft KX2. And I love the KX2 for doing soda, poda, or if I just want to grab like quickly a radio and get out and go make some activations in the front yard. Um, I live in an HOA and I actually have an attic antenna that I use for most of my stuff. And I mean, sometimes the noise levels are just too high. Like, uh, you know, I can't get anything on um, my FT450, which is what I use inside the house. So sometimes I just grab my KX2, go outside, throw up an antenna, um, and sit in my front yard and make contacts. It's great. And it's, uh, as I said, I use it for parks and, you know, summits and, you know, just being portable. Um, actually taking it over on trips, you know, throw it in my backpack on a plane. Um, if you know anything about the KX2, super portable, super small, um, you know, great for taking along anywhere you may go. So the limiting factor for me has always been an antenna for the KX2. And so a couple of videos ago, I actually showed off my Alex Loop. And an Alex Loop is a great, uh, is a great antenna. Love my Alex Loop. Highly recommend it. Go watch the video if you, if you haven't seen that. Um, but the Alex Loop still, it goes in a backpack. It's kind of bulky. And sometimes, to be honest with you, I don't even want to take a backpack. Um, if I'm doing camping, if I'm doing hiking, you know, every ounce, every pound makes a difference. In the Alex Loop, even though it's portable, um, it fits in a backpack, it does add weight to your loadout. So sometimes um, I want something even smaller than that. So enter in a new product from Elecraft. Elecraft, uh, they actually have some antennas that fit on their KX2, and I believe their KX3 lines just for portability. Um, but I just never really, I, I never got it. It's called a, an AX1, and AX1 was their antenna that, you know, you could purchase to put on a KX2 um, and load it out. It's kind of like a, a whip antenna, smaller antenna. But I, the price on it was just a little bit above what I wanted to pay for it. It was over a hundred bucks. I want to think, say it was like maybe 130, 140, somewhere in that range. And for a whip antenna, I really just wasn't interested in that. Um, so I kind of just passed on that. Enter in a new product from Elecraft, and I actually saw a YouTube video on this a couple of months ago where uh, the guys that you know are in charge of Elecraft came on one of the YouTube shows and they showed off a new antenna that they were getting ready to start selling, the AX2. The AX2 is an ultra portable antenna built for the KX2 and that line of uh, radios, they're portable radios, um, but it was also cheaper. It was, I think, $79.99, gets you a whip antenna, and then you attach that directly to uh, your KX2, and then it gives you 20 meters out of the box. So, first of all, that is perfect for what I do. On soda poda, stuff like that, usually I'm operating during the day, like if I'm, I'm doing a day hiking trip, something like that, and as you know, 20 meters is great, like during the day. Sometimes you get something at night, it's kind of hit or miss on that, but during the day, um, when I'm out and about doing POTA stuff especially, like I'm always on 20 meters. Uh, and so for me, the AX2, the fact that it's uh, resonant at 20 meters straight out of the box, like, and that's all it does by the way, um, unless you play with it, we'll talk about that here in a second. But you know, an AX2 that does 20 meters, you don't have to do anything else to it, boom, I like it. So let's meet the AX2. This is an AX2. And I know it's kind of hard to see like how big this is, uh, but pretty much this is the whip antenna part of it. I'll put up a pin here for comparison. So this is what we're talking about. It's about the size of a pin, and that's the whip antenna part. 
And then they also include um, this part down here. This is gonna be the coil. It's a loaded kind of coil design. This just screws into here. And the instructions say, be careful not to over tighten it because you'll mess up the coil inside this plastic housing. But all said and done, that gives you um, a 20 meter antenna to run off your KX2, which to me is amazing. And once again, for size comparison, there's what we're looking at. Once the, uh, the coils on it, it is slightly bigger than a pin, but still ultra portable, like ultra light. Uh, I don't know how much this weighs less than a pound. You could probably go on the specs and look at it, but I mean, it's not significant weight. Definitely a whole lot different than um, like a, you know, an Alex loop or anything else you're trying to pack out. Um, now, the one thing I will add is this little piece down here does not come with the package. The uh, AX2 is just the whip part. It's just the, the loadal coil part, and it gets you that BNC on the end that plugs in straight to your you know, your KX2. This is actually an add-on um, that I purchased. This is actually part of the AXB1 package, and the AXB1 adds a tripod, a little tripod that you can attach, and then this, uh, you know, this connector right here, this right angle connector. So the idea is you plug this in the side of your KX2, you put the tripod on, and then you can just set it on a picnic table or do whatever. So this is an add-on. I think that adds an extra 30, 40 bucks uh, to get that right connector, the little tripod piece. Um, just, you know, pretty light. Once again, very portable. I would still say even adding this on it is about, uh, about a pound. So altogether, I'm probably, to add this portability, I'm probably a hundred bucks into it. Um, and you know, I've seen, you know, a couple of people's takes on that. Hey, it's overpriced. Hey, it's this, that, and another. But you gotta remember with Elecraft, everything's made in America. You're supporting American business and they have a really awesome warranty and guarantee on their stuff. Um, you know, a year on this, like uh, I, I've had great luck with their customer service and feedback. Um, when I got my KX2, they had like a shipping delay on it. And I was just curious, you know, hey, what time frame are we looking on? Making sure that I got funds moved around. Because I think at the time it was like a four to six week window. And um, the ladies over there at customer service, the shipping department, were just great working with me on just kind of saying, hey, it looks like you're number 10 on the list. And the way that we're making units is going to be like a week and a half. So amazing customer service amazing product i love my kx2 and then i've actually taken this out in the field i'm not going to show you like uh, any video of it because honestly it's self-explanatory plug this into your kx2 pull your whip antenna out as far as it goes there is one other thing that you have to do on the ax2 you will need a radial because uh, this is a you know compromised whip antenna so they provide you with the radial wire that comes with the ax2 package it's kind of hard to see uh, but it's just got like a little fork connector that you actually plug into your ground over here. This is my KX2. So as you can see right here, your BNC connector. And then right down here is a little lug. It's kind of hard to see, but you put that little, uh, the spade right up in there. And then you tighten down the, um, you know, the nut. And then that gives you your radial and then you run the radial off, like wherever you're at. I, ran, I run it off picnic tables and, and stuff like that. So super easy to set up the one you know if i could get give elecraft like one piece of feedback you know i appreciate that they kind of put the connector on the radial they give you the radial it's all cut down to size um like uh you know it's super easy to plug onto your radial or your kx2 but i wish what i wish that they did was you know they put like a banana plug on you know the radial wire to me that would be me like so much easier um and then the banana plug they actually have a grounding hole on the kx2 but it's off the other side so it just kind of for wire management i prefer that um i actually have a banana plug i haven't hooked up to this yet i may do that but just for simplicity i mean it's super easy to you know screw into the the nut just you know hey elecraft give us a banana plug i don't know i know they charge like 10 bucks for their banana plug you can do that if you want. There's other options out there if you kind of want to shop around. Um, but I mean, if I had any feedback for Elecraft, number one, I love your antenna. Great design. It works 20 meters as, as uh, stated. Like everything's pretty stable. One thing that I will say is a step up on this AX2 as compared to the AX1. There was a lot of wobble. I had a buddy that had an AX1. And if the wind got blowing, this thing would wobble in the housing like pretty hard. They've solved probably... 
uh, of this on the AX2. It is a very stable platform. Um, when I had it out and used it this past week, like the wind, you know, it wasn't terrible wind, but it was enough wind where, you know, you would definitely in the old days on an AX1, you'd see that kind of wobble inside of it. So it feels really stable. Um, you are able to kind of lock that down a whole lot better and it doesn't wobble on your radio. And especially if you add, you know, the tripod attached to them. It's a pretty secure, um, you know, solution for running off a picnic table, running off something where you're, you know, you've got some flat area. Um, I've seen videos where people would pair up this tripod with their AX1, they would be on top of a mountain, you just set it down on a rock. I mean, that's a pretty, pretty stable platform. Now, one thing that you are able to do on the, uh, the AX2 is you're actually able to go in here, and this is provided in the instructions, you can actually go in and manipulate the, the coil inside of this. And you can make it resident on a different frequency. And they've actually got it, you know, written on here. You can change it to 17, 15, 12, 10. Um, you know, it requires a little bit of, of uh, you know, engineering to go in here and take off some, I, I think it's take off some rolls from the coil is what you got to do. But then you're stuck with, say, like a 10 meter antenna. This isn't something that you can change on the fly. It's not like a buddy pole per se where you're, going in and you know changing the taps and stuff like once you pull off the, the the coil like I don't know if you could put it back maybe but probably once you make the change it's probably stuck in there um, it's definitely not something you're going to be doing on the fly I'm not going to manipulate um, my AX2 I'm going to leave it at 20 meters because as I said that's what I use for POTA um, and that's mainly why I bought this something super portable and it's amazing that going back to kind of just Ellacraft and their design on stuff, this is all I need because obviously this fits in there, no problem, fits in this little case. This is all I need to pull like out with me when I need to go like, uh, you know, activate a park, when I need to go, you know, do something where I don't want to lug a, a lot of stuff around. This is it. And this is where Ellicraft's kind of bread and butter is at, if I'm going to be honest with you. I know like their K4s, um, the old K3s and stuff, like people swear by those. I've never used any of like their home base stations, but I can absolutely 100% like recommend this little guy. And like, I mean, you see that. That's a, an entire like, uh, you know, transceiver in this little prep platform. Now, granted, it only goes up to, I think it's 12 watts if you have it, you know, plugged up to an external source. Um, it'll, it's QRP, like you're gonna get low, low voltage off of it, but I did a POTA activation down at Galveston, uh, Galveston State Park just uh, a couple weeks ago now, right before Thanksgiving, and I put that up with my Alex loop. I made 12 contacts in the span of 30 minutes. Um, I was down there with my wife and we were going to go walk on like some of the hiking trails and stuff. And so I told her, I was like, Hey, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I ran 10 Watts. I was running off the battery, um, 10 Watts through my Alex loop, made 12 contacts, activated the park like that 30 minutes. Um, with this, I haven't actually used it on an activation yet. As I said, this just came out. I think I got it a week and a half ago or so. But uh, when I was over in just kind of like the neighborhood parks, just trying it out, I was able to talk to people like it was receiving no problem. So I have no doubt um, that this will be a great antenna, um, you know, for doing park activations and stuff. The AX1, you know, you can go out there and look at videos of it. Um, some of the famous YouTubers, uh, you can see them with their AX1s activating parks, no problem. So I have no doubt that the AX2 is going to be uh, every bit as good as that AX1. Um, just, you know, a couple upgrades, cheaper, smaller, uh, more stable, um, things like that. So good, go Ellicraft, good stuff. Um, that's pretty much my review on the AX2. Um, I, as I said, I think it's a great antenna. It's a great like uh, choice for you know people that are looking for something ultra portable. Now, is this probably going to reach out and you know be great for DXing? Maybe, probably not. Um, I'm not saying it can't, uh, but especially with like the solar pattern and where we're at on the you know the sunspots and whatnot. Uh, maybe when it opens up more, maybe this will be a great option. But I mean, for doing what you need to do on activating a part. If you're looking for something ultra portable, 
can highly recommend it. So the AX2, $79.99, I believe the AXB1, which is the tripod, the right angle connector off of it, I believe is $39.99. Um, like y'all can go back to the Elecraft site and check that. That's without any cells. That's like, like whole cells. So they might be doing some holiday things or, you know, if you've got a, a friend there, maybe you can get it for cheaper. But, you know, even at that price point, I think it's good. 100 bucks uh, gets you something that I was kind of looking for, um, and that's something just ultra portable that fits in my Elecraft bag, and I can grab and go. And I, I've kind of shrunk down, you know, my POTA station where I was taking my FT450 over there, I was putting it in a Pelican box, I was taking my homebrew buddy stick, and I was taking all of that to a park and activating parks. Now, you can't run 100 watts with that. And so, like, uh, you know, if I'm going on a weekend trip, if I'm staying somewhere, I might still load that out because 100 watts is, is definitely going to reach out and touch more people than a 10-watt radio. But if I'm looking at going to a new park and, you know, I'm with my wife or my family and I want to do something besides play radio the entire time, then I'm grabbing my KX2, I'm grabbing my AX2, I'm putting that together, I'm going to go activate that park, get my numbers in, um, had some, you know, some radio time, and then I'm going to get out there and, uh, you know, go do my hiking, go hang out with the kids, go do other stuff. So literally we're talking about as long as it takes you to screw in the whip and then connect the BNC to the KX2, you're up and running portable and good to go with the KX2. So a minute, maybe, and that's all you have to do with that. Also, it's great if you're a prepper and, uh, you know, you're looking for emergency, you know, operations and stuff, then, dude, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, it's it's portable, it's foolproof, um, you know, there's no huge electronic components to it. If you can screw this in, you can attach a radial off to it, then, hey, that's it. So one other thing that I wanted to mention about the AX2 is the fact that you're going to need an antenna tuner on your radio. So the KX2, that's not a standard module, that's an add-on. Um, if you've got the, you know, the shack in the box, pack, box package, then I think that is a standard for that. But one thing that I did notice, um, you know, with this, it is resonant, but you're going to need a tuner to get it down to, you know, to one to one. So that's something to keep in mind. Like uh, if your KX2 doesn't have the antenna tuner, this might still work. You might have to play with the radial a little bit. It may or may not be long enough. I think Elecraft tries to cut these long in case you need to shave off a little bit about it or a little bit of it. But just throwing that out there, like your KX2, it, it's going to need to do a little bit of tuning if you want a one-to-one. -one. So uh, my KX2 does, when I had it out in the field, I did you know tune it up. It tuned up, no problem, if you know anything about the KX2s. Uh, they're made to like basically tune wet noodles. You know, that's their claim to fame. So, you know, it sticks with that. This is a pretty resonant antenna, like, uh, you know, the radial, you know, that was off a little bit. I forget what mine was, two and a half, two, something like that. Um, but it got it down to one to one, no problem. So just throwing that out there. And that's even going to change with terrain and stuff. So because you're running a radial off, uh, depending on where you're at, depending on what it's touching, how far it is off the ground, what kind of ground, right, rocky soil, mountain, whatever you're on, it is going to affect that. So you want to make sure, um, you know, as I said, you probably need a tuner on your KX2 or else you're going to be doing all sorts of crazy, crazy things with the radial like uh, going forward. So just wanted to throw that out there as a, you know, a thing to be aware of as well. All right. So what is our to-go nugget today? So the to-go nugget is actually something just on supporting American businesses. And a lot of the stuff that I've seen off Elecraft and Elecraft, like if you meet Elecraft users, like um, if you've ever tried their stuff, it's really good stuff. Like their radios are top notch. Um, but the big thing is, is are you paying a little bit more than you can find a cheaper radio? Probably, I'll throw that out there. Like the Elecraft, the KX2s, um, you know, for 10 watts, you can probably get, well, I don't know what they are now. Um, I know like post COVID they increased their prices, but I think for the package, um, which gets you like everything uh, in it is going to be around $1,300, um, $1,300 for their shack in the box package. And so, you know, is that probably more that you could get like a Zygu or something like that? Yeah, the new Zygu came out. I think it's around 800 bucks. So you're paying a little bit of a premium 
um, but you're also getting a made in America product. You're supporting American workers. You're supporting businesses here. And um, Ella Craft is a little mom and pop shop, mom and pop shop, um, over in California. Uh, but I mean, they're definitely, you know, they're family owned, like they're, they're supporting American workers. And so, you know, I can get behind that. As long as you're making a great product, I don't mind paying a little bit extra if I know um, that that money's staying at home and like you're supporting American workers, I can get behind that. So my to-go nugget is, you know, just be aware of like where uh, your stuff comes from, like who's building it, um, you know, and I'll probably make a video on that down the road. But I mean, there's other industries where that bleeds over into as far as like, uh, you know, clothing, shoes, stuff like that. You just hear horror stories about stuff. But electronics is one you can look out on. So treat others as though the way you want to be treated, right? And I know if I was an American worker, I, I want to be treated nice, right? Um, so one way you, you can do that is support American businesses. So that's my to-go nugget. That's all I've got for you today. I appreciate your time. Thank you for hanging out with me. Check out the KX2, the KX3. Check out Elecraft. Check out all their stuff. See what you think. Don't take my word for it. Try it out. Um, but definitely, if you have a KX2, the AX2 is out. Like if you're looking for something like ultra portable, I highly suggest it. Take a look at it. Um, and as I just said, cheaper than the AX1 and it's got some benefits over it. Um, but great 20 meter antenna. This is N1er. Hoping you have a great day and we'll see you next time.